Hello everybody, this is Cesar. I hope you are all doing well. And first of all, I would like to thank you for your support. We are going to reach very soon 600 subscribers and we are running towards the 130,000 views. I know that for the very, very, very big guys in YouTube, this is very small. But for me, it means a lot. It means a lot to me. And what even means more to me are the comments that you leave in the channel, the thumbs up and my interaction, especially with the regular people commenting in the channel. Thank you very much. Now, we just came back from a trip to India during the past week, business trip, of course, and I'm gonna take 10 days of leave to see my family in Spain that I think I deserve. Probably there will not be video uh, during the next weekend because, well, even though at my brother's house there are guitars, but, well, I will not have my cameras, my, my, my equipment, so probably there won't be a video during the next week. Now, today, before I leave, I wanted to share with you how I record guitars and backing tracks for YouTube using Amplitude 4. I have received several questions on, on the email and it's a very simple process. I try to keep things very simple in my channel because I'm very busy, uh, but it has quality. You, you can listen to my guitars. We are going to use the Gibson Les Paul 2015 SR, this beauty. Look at that. To record a very short blues backing, backing track. And I'm gonna show you how I import the track and how I record it later. So simple, efficient, and I hope you will enjoy. Thank you very much and see you very soon. Bye. Okay, now let's see what we have in front of us. We have the version, the licensed version of the Soldano 100 uh, for Amplitude 4, which is an excellent simulation. Is the one I have used to record the two last Gary Moore videos. Thank you for your nice comments, by the way. Anyway, we are not going to do a demo of the Soldano Amplitude 4, though if you want me to do it, I can demonstrate several of the amps of Amplitude 4. What we are going to do is we are going to show how to import a backing track to Amplitude 4 how to record your guitar on top of that uh, backing track and how then to put them together and export them in order to attach it to your video. And it's a very simple way. Mm. Now, uh, if you look to the arrow, the arrow now, the arrow of the computer is now where it says recorder, please. Look at that. And then as you see, we are gonna follow the arrow now it's going to the right. And it's, there is up to eight different tracks. You see? One, two, eight. We have the Soldano amp in the number one, okay? This is where our Soldano amp is. Now, what we do is we take our arrow and as you see in the left corner is this icon like with diff different tracks. So we click on it. Okay, so this is what you see when you click on the icon here. If you want to come back to your AMP settings, you simply click again on the icon. And we are back to the Soldano. Now, we are going to import the backing track. And to import the backing track is very important that you are not in the same track that your AMP is. So we are going to choose the track number two. Very good. And as you see here, there is a volume, there is a kind of balance, left, right, center, bass, middle, and treble. And this works for each single track. So you can set up the volume, the bass, the middle, the treble, and the balance in each one of the tracks. We have selected track number two to import our backing track. Then we go up, file, import audio, Blues in A, this is the one that I have on my desktop, and we open it, and it's already there. It's, it has taken exactly 0 0.5 seconds. Uh, I had already a backing track, uh, a slow blues in A, uh, and what you are going to hear is uh, a very simple uh, Bose speakers. They are hi-fi, but they, there's not the studio speakers. It's just for you to understand the concept and how it works. Now let me run it for you for a couple of seconds.
And then if you want to take the volume down, you see? Same applies to the balance, bass, middle, and treble. So you already have your backing track. This is a very short shot of the setup. Focus right solo, the guitar goes to the focus right solo, the focus right solo is connected to the computer, and the computer is going through the aux to uh, the Bose speaker. Mm, I'm not taking the speakers through the focus right because those are Bose speakers, those are hi fi speakers. So, very simple thing in order for you to see how simple and easy is to do it. We already have our backing track and now we are going to record the guitar. Well, and now we have our guitar already running through uh, amplitude 4. And I am not going to use any stone box, so I'm going to control the gain of the guitar with the volume. Okay, now, let's record. So, if you look to the screen on the bottom of the screen, here is the arrow, you see the arrow, right? On the bottom of the screen, there is the red sign of recording. In the moment you hit it, you can record your guitar, and at the same time, you're gonna listen to the backing track. So, let's give it a try. <laughs> like when we are listening through it, to it through the speaker I would then export it you will have it on your mp4 file and then the, the quality of the sound is much much better so it looks like this
Well, now the last process we need to fulfill is, sorry, I'm gonna put the volume down of the guitar, is to export the track to uh, whatever we want. In this case, we are gonna export it to the uh, desktop of the computer. And it's very simple. Hmm? So imagine that you already have the volume that you want, the mix that you want, uh, track number one, then track number two, that the mix of volumes is the adequate, the one you want, the one you like, then the only thing you need to do is export it to the desktop, for example. And the same process applies. File, export audio. And it asks you here, wherever you want to export it, we are going to export it to our desktop, save as blues, save. And now export. And it starts expo exporting. And the quality is awesome. It's not the one you have heard through, um, through the speakers. Uh, I would take it to the video, to the last part of the video, in order for you to listen to the quality of the recording. As you see, it takes just a little bit. Of course, the bigger your file is, the longer it takes. But it's a very, very simple process. It's a very quick one. And you can have a lot of fun just with Amplitude 4, your guitar, and backing tracks, downloading them from YouTube, uh, putting them straight into the Amplitude 4, and listening to them. So, it's done. We say done. Minimize here. Look in our desktop, and we have Blues. Blues, W-A-V, means that it's a file that is going to be listened to through um, iTunes. If you click here, you will then listen to the to the file in iTunes. It has to open iTunes, of course. And here we go. Let me stop it. So as you see, it's a very simple process. Let's recap it. We have a backing track on our desktop that we could have per perfectly downloaded from YouTube, for example. We export it to our Amplitude 4. Then we record the guitar on a different track. Uh, and when we are done, we export both of them together. Again, for example, to our desktop. And then that is the file that you are going to attach to your video and the quality of the sound is much better than the one you have uh, been listening to because I was going through a couple of very small Bose speakers. Mm? And that's the way I record all my guitars for YouTube. It's a very simple way, but if you do it, if you take a little bit of time to understand uh, the volumes, etc., the mix, the quality is really good. I hope it has been interesting for you, especially for the ones who sent me the emails with the question. And hope to see you soon after the break. Take care and play your guitars and be good. Bye. <laughs>